AI agents, the only ones who can multitask and still forget your name. Open Operator is an interactive demonstration showing the capabilities of AI driven browsing. Today we'll use this tool and let you know how this can multitask a lot of things without touching even the screen. You can browse the internet, you can pay your bills, you can do a lot of stuff without even touching the screen. So it's by browser based and open source framework for building robust web agents and which provides a scalable and observable headless browsing experience. In this we will explore all the cool features this tool comes up with. This is Adit and you're watching Skill Curve. Before that, let's understand more about AI agents. An AI agent is a system that perceives its environment, process information and, and takes actions to achieve a specific goal. These agents can be simple as chatbot or as complex as self-driving car. Okay, this is really complex. Now let's understand the working. This process starts with user input which enters the perception module. Natural language understanding breaks down the input and, and context analysis determine the agent's objective. A decision-making engine selects appropriate action. This action planning module creates a strategy. Reasoning and interface refine the approach. The AI agent then interact with external APIs or tools. Actions are executed and responses are generated. A learning module allows continuous adoption and knowledge update. So this was how exactly how these agents work and what are they actually. Now let's see what open operator can do and let's see. Okay, we are on the main page of operator.browserbase.com. The interface looks really clean. The button from macOS design makes it much better. Okay, now you can see, we will see the view GitHub page later, but before that, let's explore the interface. These are some templates to just pre-built prompts. This is input box to search and command the operator. We will use it later, but before that, let's see all these pre-made prompts, like how much is Nvidia stock? These are some pre-made prompts, like when you click it, these are just will be treated as commands. Okay, let's go to the one of the command, how much is Nvidia stock? And now it started working on the left side you will see different steps that ai will take on the right side it's a headless browser window it's taking some process it'll take some little time on the right side you can see now the stock price it's 126.89 this is the same google browser window now before you ask what this mouse button do so let me tell you this uh, this mouse button does is that it will help you to scroll manually on this click button you can select you can uh, take interact with page you can click on sign button and the sign up button will prop up to you you can manually enter your email and even you can command your mail and password to the operator now we'll skip this step and see other prompts too Now we are again on open operator. Okay, you have already seen these already templates. Now let's go on a view a GitHub page to see what's it. Okay, we are on the GitHub page of open operator. On the first page, you can simply see a warning. This is simply a proof of concept. Browser base aims not to compete with web agents. Okay, so they have a warning on their first line of GitHub, which is very interesting actually. So they're saying is this is a, just a proof of concept. So do not think like it's really a web agent that can actually help you. We strongly recommend you to check out both browser base and open source project stage hand to build your own web agents. So this is kind of a proof of concept to get you an idea of how things can actually work in real time. This is installation step. I'll tell you how to install it on your machine locally in a few minutes. But before that, let's Let's dive into deeper on this uh, open operator. Okay, let's uh, let's do something like, for example, uh, make a mermaid graph on web agents. Let's see how it works. So we have press the run button, and again, uh, again, a boring explanation of this is left side. Uh, the left side gives you the steps, just like a uh, basic reasoning model gives you step, like what are what is it doing, how many times it's thinking. On the right side, it's just a basic browser, a headless browser. Okay, now they are going to mermaid.js. So if you are a programmer, you know where it's taking you. Okay, so let me tell you, if you're not a programmer, mermaid.js is a library that helps you to create beautiful graphs. But let me tell you. This is not the real thing. This will not help you. Let me uh, rephrase the query again. Okay, now what I commanded it, like make a diagram on this website. If you don't know this website, this website helps you to create some really good uh, graphs uh, with the help of AI. And without AI, you can manually make it. So let's see how this is gonna respond. Okay, now it's taking you to the website and you can simply see the website has been loaded. And the second step would be making a diagram. So it takes actions in the first second. And if the 
command is too much long then it can have various steps mostly it just do the work in the few steps like one two three and that's it okay now next step is to select a drawing tool to start creating a diagram the toolbar at the top of the page contains various tools like selection tool rectangle ellipse line so it's kind of okay it took a little time to make some steps okay you can see now uh, it made some diagram weird diagram and still making it okay it will take a lot of time so since it's a proof of concept so yeah it's okay to take a lot of time but now you got an idea of how things work actually now let's see more demonstration okay now i did ask chat gpt to write a mail for me and this is a very interesting problem let's see if this works here and let me tell you if you think that this is very slow and this cannot work uh, in real time you can I mean, let me tell you a thing the first thing is it can work the thing is it's still in the process of proof of concept so it's just a way to show you how things can work when uh, the things will grow and the advancement of ai will uh, even ba get better so this is just a proof of concept to tell you okay. now let's ask some news thing like so what's the latest news in ai Since it's an open source project, you can run it locally and this is one of the best thing about the open source project. Now you can see this is a TypeScript project which is a superset of JavaScript. So you can use PMP or NPM manager package managers to do this. Now first of all you have to clone this repository on your local machine. You can see the screen command or on your screen just simple copy and paste them. After that you have to install them. You can use PNPM install or NPM install. Then you have to put the command which is cp.env.example.env.local. Now what are these files? I'll explain them a little bit later. Now what you need to do is first now, you have to set up your OpenAI keys. Go to your OpenAI dashboard and get an API key. And another thing is get your browser based API key. Now it's time to update these uh, env.local file with your API key. You can see your open underscore API underscore key, that is your open AI key. On the other hand, there's a browser based API key, which is browser based under API under key. Now you have to paste your browser key. Make sure do not show it to anybody. I'll explain why. Now another thing is the browser based dot project ID. You have to paste your project ID too. Make sure these all should be very confidential. Now let me explain what are these files. So these files are the files which will help you to access the browser and it's all the APIs locally with this help of APIs. We put these APIs in such files which is environment example so that nobody can see them and can use them. If anybody accidentally saw these API keys, it can use it and you can get a large amount of bill to pay. So this, this is why you have to make it very secret. So this was a video on the open operator. It's still in a very beta mode but can show you the concept of future if you like the video just like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such content